this at a thrift sale, two dollars, which is amazing. And I'm just gonna, I want to try to just kind of whitewash it. I'm not gonna actually. <clears throat> Maybe need a little bit more. Let's try to spread it out here. Just a little bit of our bright white. On here. Just using a paintbrush. I don't know, we'll see. It's all up in the air, I guess. spreads a little better if it all of all paints spread a little bit better if you get get it a little wet I'm trying to go with the up and down just same direction but ooh, hard in these corners and of course I'm gonna get on the edges this was a, it looks like it was a handmade item. Probably use some wax on this too. Just around the edges anyway. Use a little spritzes of water here and there just to spread it out. Obviously, this will be just uh, for decorative purposes. This won't be for using the. Foo down anymore. But $2 at a thrift store this is a great turnaround. Just kind of getting a rough edges around here. Biggest thing is I want like the corners and stuff to be nice and covered because I don't want it to look unfinished. I want it to look like it was purposefully painted a certain way, <laughs> not by accident. Oops, that got a little too fluid. That dried up. Want it to dry like that. A little runny. Get that nice and smooth. Kind of more of a whitewash than a actual painting. Anywhere that's thick, I'm trying to Kind of water it down a little bit. Get around that outside edge. It's getting a little thick there. Get little creases and stuff.
some of these edges are a little rough like whoever made it just didn't have it very this is my I don't know my white paste is kind of getting it was really thick part of it had dried out completely and so it um in an effort to actually look at that back it's like got a nice edge on it it's really kind of pretty um it's not as sanded in some of these areas i think this is a handmade item I'm not sure this from another angle here it's funny how quickly that spreads that weight just kind of gets in there and you just put a little bit of water on there it just really goes on nice a lot smoother so anyway I have this paste that I had it had dried out completely and then I had one another one that's a newer version of it and it's getting kind of, um, what would you say? It was getting drier than I needed. It was getting hard to work with because it was so dry. So I added water and was trying to like condense my containers. So I put them together <laughs> and now I have this paste that's too wet. That worked great on the edges there. I kind of like it showing through here. This is where I start getting really dirty. <laughs> so there we go. That smoothed out. I want it to look like farmhousey, whitewashed. Just kind of getting in all the cracks and stuff here. Oops, a little chunk here. I'm trying to keep this middle area nice and smoothed out. Move some bit over here. I think sometimes it's kind of way I like that when it looks really whitewashed there, nice and smooth. All right, I'm gonna try to get this end. Put more paint here. Okay, get around the edges. I may actually go on the back too, just because it would make make it look a little more overall. Got some little pieces of my chalk paste that aren't really mixed in all that well. I'm trying to get those all mixed in. I don't want any streaks either on this board part. So just picking it up and using it on the parts that I'm not done with. Those Those in there. Kind of like in the whitewash. So we'll see. Kind of get it spread over here. It's a fine line between not painted enough and painted too much. <laughs> Just trying to get it evened out. Nicely, get any chunks out. So anyway, I can't seem to get my chalk paste back to where I need it to be. So I thought I'm just gonna use it to kind of do a whitewash here. It works really nicely because it is water soluble. It does work really nicely with um, with the water sprayed on it. I like just this 
Oops, I went too far. I went too far. Kind of got it thick there. Just gonna... Just trying to get all the edges because I feel like because this isn't quite not part of the front I think it's gonna show a little bit so I want to get it to look even and now that I'm into the back I might as well just do the whole thing I guess so get a little bit more in there get it nice and so anyway this is a great way to use up the old paste because you don't want to waste any and it really does go like forever it really does like the one white i probably had for at least two years so it's a really old formula and it had completely dried up on me and i thought well by adding it to the new stuff it would get better but i maybe overestimated how much how helpful that would be so it is what it is Oops, a little crazy there. Hopefully I don't short anything out. I just hit my electrical cord. There, see how nicely that goes on there? And that's pretty rough wood right there. It just looks really nice. I like it. I love how this looks. With just a little bit of whitewash on there. There we go. Now it looks much better. So hopefully when I turn this over, it won't rub it out too much because I kind of shocked it by, <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing the back at all, but since I went over, I didn't, I want it to look like a nice finished project. So I'm going to leave that and then just kind of get, I'm, like I said, my product isn't working so great. <laughs> All right, make sure I didn't have any edges. I There's my thumbprint right there. All right, so there we go. I think that looks really actually pretty. I'm just gonna go ahead and close this up. I'm gonna try to get of these off. Oh, I'm gonna that. Get that off. I don't want it to. I kind of like the pale wood. I was thinking maybe I would use some antique wax on here, but I really, I kind of like the way this looks already. So I don't, I don't know that it needs any more. A little less is more. trying to get those lumps out. I don't know. <laughs> Might be a lost hope. Those are from that dried up. Nice thing about the water solubleness of it is that you can use a wipe and just wipe around the edges and kind of make it clean it up and make it even. I think I like it. What do you think? I don't want it to look like I wiped it. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going to go in a little bit more and put it back on a little bit just so that it looks, because the outside, I realize the outside edges kind of look darker. Get that out of here. All right. I like it. I think it's looking good. Yeah. I think it's looking good. Okay. Just want to make sure the edges kind of look nice and even. I like it. I think it looks really cute. 
think we'll leave it as that. And then I'm going to dry it up a little bit here. Now it might be hard to get a dryer. Let's see. I think I'm gonna leave it set overnight, but there's my whitewashed Christmas tree. You can see the back. Kind of looks good too, actually. So thanks for joining me. Make sure to follow, like, and comment.